Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's. Please join us for the opening hymn, number 736, Gather Us In, number 736. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. Good morning. Certainly it's good to, to be back. We made it safe, safe and sound back, and to be here and, and to celebrate. So today we hear parables about the sowing of the seed, how the weeds and the wheat grow up together. So we recognize in our own lives that which is good and pleasing to God, but also the weeds, the sin that, keep, that choke us off and keep us from honoring God. So we call to mind our sin and we ask God for forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Jesus Christ. 
Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. There is no God besides you who have the care of all that you need show you have not unjustly condemned. For your might is the source of justice. Your majesty over all things makes you lenient to all. For you show your might when the perfection of your power is disbelieved. And in those who know you, you rebuke temerity. But though you are master of might, you judge with clemency. And with much lenience, you govern us. For power, whenever you will, attends you. And you taught your people by these deeds, that those who are just might be kind. And you gave your children good ground for hope, that you would permit repentance for their sins. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings, and the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus proposed another parable to the crowd, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat, and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slave said to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No. If you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat among, along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, First collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. He proposed another parable to them. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a person took and sowed in a field. It is the smallest of all seeds, yet when full grown, it is the largest of plants. It becomes a large bush, and the birds of the sky come and dwell in its branches. He spoke to them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed with three measures of wheat flowers until the whole batch was leavened. All these things Jesus spoke to the crowds in parables. He spoke to them only in parables to fulfill what had been said by the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will announce what has lain hidden from the foundation of the world. Then dismissing the crowds, he went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is a son of man. The field is the world. The good seed, the children of the kingdom, the weeds are the children of the evil one. And the enemy who sows them is a devil. The harvest is the end of age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all who cause others to sin and all evildoers. They will throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Certainly welcome to everyone on this beautiful, sunshiny Sunday morning as we come together to grow in our Lord Jesus Christ. May the seed of our Lord grow in all of us and accept his forgiveness and his grace on this 16th Sunday of Ordinary Time. So, we hear a lot about seeds and good fertile ground today. How are your seeds growing? Are you flourishing? 
Are you accepting God's grace and his leniency so that you can grow and give your seed to others? We need to contemplate on how we can go about sowing good seed and how to get our seed to grow in us. Our Lord gives us great leniency, it says in the first reading. And it also says that God rebukes those with temerity. Temerity is boldness, is excessive confidence or extreme boldness. So be careful that you're not swayed by the wrong thing and you stand up for things that aren't supposed to be. Stand up for God. And then it says we must accept God's clemency, which is his mercy, his leniency. Accept his mercy because it is no matter what, he, he gives us his mercy because he shows that in the reading the, um, to the, from Wisdom, in the first reading, it's all about the journey um, of the Israelites and how they were set free. It showed God was stern against the Egyptians, and he punished them, and he gave plight and, and many hard ships for them. But when he freed the Egyptians, he showed his mercy. He showed his love. He showed water come from rocks, and he showed um, quail, and he showed manna coming from the desert. He showed his mercy, and he shows forgiveness to us all the time because he loves us so much. And then in the second reading, I, I just love the way it starts. It says, the Spirit comes to aid to us for our, weakness, for, those, for our weaknesses. For we do not know how to pray what, how we ought. But God comes to us and strengthens our weaknesses. He gives us strength to get through the hard times. He gives us his mercy and his grace to grow our seed in our Lord Jesus Christ. And the gospel is all about us growing with God and accepting his forgiveness. And Jesus is talking in parables. Well, I don't talk in parables, but I do tell stories, so, um, and they're normally true. So my story goes like this. I don't know if anybody knows me very well, but I'm an avid gardener. I love to play in the dirt. And so this year, I was planting peppers, and I planted like 75 pepper plants. And I grew the seed. I took the seed, and I started them in my little greenhouse, and I took care of them, and I transplanted them and put them in the garden and started taking care of them. Well, Memorial Day come around, and I went to the campground, and when I come back from Memorial Day weekend, I looked, and six of those pepper plants were all wilted, and it looked like they were dying. Oh, well, plant doctor Deacon Rod better get to work here, so... I loosened up the soil real good around the, the sick pepper plants, and I took and I fertilized them, and I put some seven on them to kill anything that might have bugs on them or something. I didn't know what was wrong with them. And then I watered them and watered them and watered them every day, and I took care of them and kept the soil really, really fertile as I could, just like God does with us. 
takes care of us when we're welded. And so the story goes that out of six of these six, six peppers, three of them kind of perked up and they got green and they started growing and they produced fruit. And one of them got ripe and turned orange and I ate it the other day and it was good. The fruit was good. And that pepper plant, those three pepper plants, really hit home and resonated with me because I looked at them like, those pepper plants are me. That's me in my life. How at once upon a time, I was wiltered. I was dying, not living right, not living with the Lord, not living with Jesus Christ, not allowing him to grow my seed the way it was supposed to grow. But God, with his leniency and his mercy, said, it's okay. I'm still going to grow you just right. So you produce fruit. I hope that fruit is good. What about the other three pepper plants? The ones that are dying and sick. And they still, they still don't look right. There's no blossoms on them. They're just hanging in there. They're just, oh, they're just saying they don't want to die, but they don't want to live. How many people do we know like that? How many people do we know that are starving for our Lord Jesus Christ, but just can't get the life of our Lord? They just can't accept his love. We need to help them. We need to help them grow. We need to help God help them grow. For the evil ones are choking them out. They're hearing different words of temerity, of boldness, of excessive things that aren't supposed to be. Let's protect them. Let's help them. Give them guidance. Help God grow the seeds. Show them forgiveness. Don't give up on them. I am guilty, and I don't know about you, how many of us plant seeds in, with the word of God and then don't follow it up and don't keep checking on them? We need to stay in touch with the seeds that we plant. And remember, for every seed you plant, many may grow. For if you touch 10 people, and they go out, and they touch 10 people, all of a sudden you have 100 people that has been touched by the Word of God. Give your heart to Jesus. Let him grow your seed. Accept his forgiveness and his mercy. And plant those seeds wherever you can, no matter what you do plant the seeds every different gardener has a different technique some of us use their mouth okay and some of us use prayer and some of us use kindness and some of us use love some of us use understanding but rest assured whatever your technique is it helps it helps. Plant your seeds and don't give up on your seeds. Don't give up on the plants. Let God, with his great mercy, come in with, and show that through their weaknesses, he will give you strength and them strength to come to him.
we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life for the world to come. Amen. The Holy Spirit guides and teaches us how to pray. Inspired by the Spirit, we offer now to God our needs and our prayers. For Pope Francis and all bishops, priests, and religious, may God inspire and bless them as they guide the church in the ways of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders in the government, may they promote the dignity of all persons, especially those whose voice are often not heard. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, as the mustard tree is a dwelling place for birds of the sky, may the church be a dwelling place where all feel welcomed and loved by God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christian people everywhere, may we be responsible citizens by exercising our right to vote and be involved with the public life of our country. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For grandparents and the elderly, may they be blessed with strength and good health as they pass on the treasure of their faith to the next generation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, may we be yeast in our parish, in our community, and in the world by embracing the teaching of Jesus and professing the hope and inspiration that is offered to us in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, suffering from addiction, or facing other hardships, may the gentle and everlasting love of God bring them comfort and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Al and Sharon Schaefer. May all the faithful departed be gathered into eternal dwelling of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers written in the parish book of intentions and our personal prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, you give life and love to all your children. May we bear fruit for your kingdom, spreading your love and grace to our brothers and sisters in Christ. We ask this in all of our prayers, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join us on the offertory hymn number 771, Praise to the Lord, 771. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands. For our good and the good of all His holy church, O oh God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you blessed the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, the pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of, uh, of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may inherit with, in, in, that, that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her 
peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join us for the communion hymn, number 777, Lord Whose Love and Humble Service, number 777.
Number 583.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Just one, one announcement. So next Sunday, a week from today, is our um, Parish Family Fun Day. So the Knights of Columbus from, from um, Edgerton here are, are sponsoring that. So hopefully you have your kickball team together and all signed up already. If not, you can still do that. And, and so come, you know, and be involved with the kickball or bring your lawn chairs and sit and watch the fun. And, and then certainly all are invited to the um, hamburgers and hot dogs and ice cream. What's not to love about that? So re really, just a, a great opportunity as um, fellow Christians and family, anybody's welcome. Invite your neighbors, your enemies, you know, whoever, um, come and just really, um, what, what a great parish thing to do this summer. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Holy Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the divine power thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Please join us for the closing hymn number 600. 760, sing a new song, 760. God on glad tambourine.
Sounds the dead shall be raised. I know. 